This video will cover the topic, solving a multi-step equation involving a single logarithm. Problem type 1. What is a logarithm? Good question. A logarithm is the power to which a number must be raised in order to obtain some other number, and it is represented by an expression of this form. This is a base b logarithm of x that is equal to y. This logarithm, expressed in exponential form, would be b to the y power equal to x. It is important to be able to express logarithmic equations in exponential form when we are solving multi-step equations involving logarithms. Okay, this all makes sense to me. Can we try out an example problem? Definitely. Here, we have a problem asking us to solve for x in the base 4 logarithm of negative 3x plus 7 equal to 1. How would we begin to solve this problem? The first step to solving this problem is expressing this logarithmic equation in exponential form. Oh, okay. So the base for logarithm of minus 3x plus 7 equal to 1 can be expressed as the exponential equation 4 to the 1 power equal to minus 3x plus 7, right? That's exactly right. We can now use algebraic manipulation to solve for x. Doing so, we will find that x equals 1. Let's try out one more example problem. Here, we have a problem asking us to solve for x in the logarithm of 64 plus x equal to 2. Wait, but this logarithm does not have a base like the other logarithm did. That's right. A logarithm with no base provided is a logarithm with a base of 10. Knowing this, we can rewrite this logarithmic expression in its exponential form, which would be 10 squared equal to 64 plus x. Solving this equation for x, we find that x is equal to 36. Okay, I think I understand this all now. To solve a multi-step equation involving a single logarithm, we must be able to express a logarithmic equation in exponential form. Doing so, we can solve for unknown variables more easily. That's exactly right. You understand this topic so well, you should be the teacher.